Gearbox doesn't actually need us. Gearbox doesn't want us. And what I mean by that is they're not targeting their hardcore audience. They never have and they never will. Their whole reason for making these games and making the adjustments that they make is because if they don't, they lose revenue, right? They're, they're, they're a business, right? It's a business. They need revenue. They need some type of stream of income, right? In order to keep this business afloat. And I know some people don't really like that and they think that they should treat it more as a piece of art, right? Instead of focusing on money. But the fact of the matter here is that if they don't focus on the money, they wouldn't be able to create the games in the first place because investors would get mad, pull out, and they wouldn't have extra income to make games, right? But uh, I say all this to say, Gearbox doesn't need their hardcore fan base because even if they lose their hardcore fan base, there will always be casuals there to buy the game, right? They may not stick with the game, but what we've seen from Gearbox over the years is that they don't need people to stick to the game because look at Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. It could have been a flop in their eyes, yes, but they still made money off of it. So in my eyes, they don't need to have fans that stay forever. They don't need to have fans that, you know, are around for the whole 16 months that the game's life cycle is of them dropping DLC and content and all that stuff for a year, however long it is. My problem with this, though, is this this takes the core fan base and just basically tells them, step aside, we don't care at all. And what made me think about this in the first place was a video by Cashew. I was just watching one of Cashew's Borderlands 3 playthroughs, and I think it was his day three or day four, or it could have been day two as well, I don't know. He had a part in there that I'm actually play real quick so you guys can watch it, and we'll talk about it afterwards. You can't just look at it like, the Borderlands fans want this, why wouldn't they do this? It's because, well, you know, Borderlands fans aren't really the main audience for a Borderlands game, it's the casual audience, because they are the guys who make up the most sell, because a Borderlands fan, a ride or die Borderlands fan, is gonna buy the game anyways. We may say, is that, oh, I'm not even buying the next one of the story, if Ava's in it, I won't buy it. Fuck off, dude, you're buying it, <laughs> you're buying it. You've been consistently watching Borderlands 1, 2, and 3 streams and videos in a fucking Borderlands drought for the fucking five years since Borderlands 3 has released. Like, mate, you're fucking buying it. <laughs> like, but fuck, it would be better if they just gave us what we wanted. So, as he mentioned, he said that the game is not being made for us because they know that we're just going to play the game anyways, even if they cater to us and give us what we want and all that stuff. But even if they don't, we're still going to play anyways. And like he said, you know, there's people out there that have been watching videos and playing the games and all that stuff, even through the drought of Borderlands, which I 100% agree with. Cashew is actually <laughs> one of the better creators in this space and one of the more, you know, unbiased creators. Like I would say he's probably less biased than me, for sure. He's probably definitely less biased than me. And I feel like Cashew, for one, deserves a lot more love but I, also his opinion is very valid. He plays a lot more of the game than most people. He plays a lot more of, uh, you know, the older games as well, like pre-sequel and stuff like that. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure the pre-sequel is one of his favorite games and he can correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, he's, he's just a very all around Borderlands centric person, right? He's Borderlands oriented and that's his whole thing. He doesn't really make any other videos on stuff. He's Borderlands only. Like me, I've made videos on other games, but him, Borderlands only. So you can take his word for certain things, right? With that being said, there's a lot of things that he said that is just objectively true. Developers do not make games for hardcore players because if they only made games for their hardcore players, they would automatically be putting themselves at a disadvantage when it comes to value and market share, right? Money. Money is a big thing in this business. Like I said at the beginning, we have to remember that these are businesses at the end of the day. Yes, it's a game and yes, I enjoy it. And yes, everybody wants to see it thrive. Nobody wants to see it die. But the problem lies in the fact that people treat it as only a game. They don't treat it as it being a business. And you can say, yes, well, there's other games out there that don't, you know, ruin their game with certain things that they put in it. And I'll agree with that. But there's also games that mess up a lot. And we're seeing this in real time. The last, I think it was like week or so, I could be wrong, correct me in the comments, but Helldivers 2. I've never played Helldivers 2 personally. I'm not a huge fan of those types of games. I'm not a third person guy, but Helldivers 2 recently had this problem with PSN. You had to link certain things for PC players, right? There was a huge outrage about it. Nobody liked it. Everybody complained and we saw it overturned, right? We just saw it overturned today as I'm recording this video. So 
They listen to the fans, which is good. They listen to the fans. Not every game is going to do that though, right? Not every game is going to listen to the fans. Not every developer has the power to just do that, right? Some devs will never ever be able to make their game the way that they want it, right? Because shareholders, investors, their parent companies, certain things just limit developers from doing what they want. And I'm saying all this because I want people to understand you can be mad at executives, you can be mad at writers, you can be mad at whoever, but the people that you should not be mad at and the people that you should never ever insult or 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 go at are the devs who make the gameplay mechanics and who make the overall player experience right? These people are really trying and they are just regular employees. They don't have anything to do with business decisions, business side things in general. Now, let me get back on topic because I feel like I'm getting a little off topic, but the games aren't made for us, right? And I've seen this with Apex Legends, right? And you could say, well, Apex is a first person shooter. It's a competitive game. And yes, while it is a competitive game, it doesn't change the fact that it is still a game that needs to make money, right? The reason that I bring up Apex is because I was a big, big player of Apex when it first came out all the way up until about six or seven months ago. I quit playing because to me the game just got stale and there wasn't enough for me to stay around and stick around. Plus a lot of the changes that they made I just didn't like, right? I just wasn't a fan of. So I said, look, I don't appreciate what they're doing to the game that I loved. So I left. And a lot of people are saying the same with Borderlands. I just uploaded a video last week talking about if the fans are going to be very toxic and stuff like that, the game's going to die. And some people are saying that it's not that they want the game to die. It's only that they want the devs to realize that, like, look, we matter as well. And I get that. But the problem there is that the devs are the ones who do care about the core fan base. The people that don't care about the core fan base are the ones controlling the devs. So if the devs don't have control over the player experience and what they make and all that stuff, what makes you think that the devs are happy about the situation that they're in? Let me give you an example. So if I worked for McDonald's, I was actively working at McDonald's, right? And I went online and started spreading things about the company that I didn't like. I would most likely either get fired or if there was an NDA agreement or something in the contract for McDonald's, whenever I, you know, signed up to work there, I could potentially get sued. So there's a reason that a lot of devs don't speak their true mind. And that's because they don't have the resources nor the money to potentially defend themselves in court if any of that was to happen. But anyways, back to the topic. I'm getting very off topic this video. My bad, guys. The reason that they don't make games for us is because without casual players, they're not going to make as much money and shareholders need return on investment. ROI is a massive thing in the gaming industry. If there's not a good enough return on investment, a lot of times games will just stop being updated over time. And what will happen is the devs will move on to something else instead of continuing with that game franchise or with that series. Now, I hope to God that this game that Gearbox releases next, it's, it's good. I hope everybody likes it. And personally, I just don't want to see the franchise go down like that because if that's the case this would be the second game that didn't perform very well and after take two purchasing gearbox i don't know if they would want that look i don't know if they would want that on them hypothetically let's say that gearbox took all the feedback from hardcore fans right well now the hardcore fans would still complain because certain things wouldn't be the way that other hardcore fans want and in my opinion cashew at the end of his video made a great point right i wish they would give us the things the community actually wanted and i agree i really do i agree with him because the problem that gearbox has right now is trying to pander to audiences that don't really care about the style of their games and it, it's sad to see but that's the way the business is right they have to find a new audience and sometimes that new audience needs to be younger so now we see the more juvenile script writing and we see you know things that would get in a younger audience because kids are more susceptible to buying things and and you know not not really worrying about too many things that make money right we see this with the cod franchise they're putting more and more stuff into you know pander towards children and we've seen this with the apex franchise as well throughout time things have gotten more and more unrealistic i mean apex is more unrealistic game than cod but still things have gotten more and more unrealistic like cat costumes and stuff like that have been selling as microtransactions and it's just it's just how the business works you know and there's no going back from that because if they don't get new players into the game they won't have a good return on investment because as much as people want to think that the hardcore fans will always be around to play the game, they won't. 
right? A lot of people have lives, have jobs, and a ton of people in the Borderlands community are older folk. Like, I mean, just look at Killer6. Just look at, you know, Jolts. They've been around forever. They're getting old. They're adults now. They got lives. People are getting old. They have to find a new audience. They have to find people that don't have a lot of other things to do. So, what's the best course of action? Children. And that's why, like I said, we've seen the juvenile writing. We've seen the more, you know, lackluster characters, right? The more teenage-oriented characters. Because that's the type of audience that I feel that Borderlands is going for. And a lot of us hardcore fans, of course, we may not like it, but they did this in the past as well, not just now. Like, the reason that we don't have what we want is because of money, right? And money is the, you know, people always say it. Money is the one thing that ruins things, and it's true, money is. With, with, with certain artists and certain things that happen, money a lot of the times will ruin, you know, games or music or movies. It, it, it is, it's just the truth. And a lot of people know that, but a lot of people don't want to accept that. People say that, well, Gearbox should just listen to the fan base, but they can't. They really can't because the, the devs don't have allegiance to us. They want to, I'm sure. I'm 100% I'm sure that a lot of the devs would just absolutely love to take in all the feedback that the players give them. And I'm sure a lot of them do, but they don't have the creative freedom to put that into the game without other processes, right? They would have to go through, in my opinion, I'm sure it's like four or five different hoops just to see if they could possibly put something that we requested into the game. Anyways, that's why I think Gearbox doesn't make games for us and they don't really need us, right? They don't need us as players. They want us, the devs do, but the higher ups, they don't care. No one actually ever has cared about a core fan base. And as, 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 as much as people want to think that investors and stuff like that, they don't care, right? The devs do. Don't get me wrong, but that's my thoughts. Hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from. Also, go subscribe to Cashew. He deserves way more love than he gets. I actually have no idea how this man gets less views than me, as I feel like his content is better than mine. But go subscribe to him. He's funny. He has good fucking editing. He has so many things about his channel that make him great. Better than most Borderlands creators, if I say so myself. So please, go sub to him. Show him some love. Tell him I sent you. And, you know, if you're here, Cashew, and you're watching, I enjoy your videos, bro. Like, they are really, really good. I sound like I'm glazing right now, but fuck it, I'm glazing. I don't care. I love y'all. If you like what I said, like the video. If you agree with me, let me know. If you don't, also let me know in the comments. But other than that, thank you for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Have a good day, and goodbye.